Hello, my name is Dr. Sanjay Govil. Uh, I am a senior consultant in hepatobiliary surgery and liver transplantation uh, at the Manipal Hospitals, uh, Bangalore. So immediately after you've undergone a liver transplant, you will be unconscious and on a ventilator and you'll be put into the intensive care unit. Your liver function will be carefully monitored uh, and we look for signs of, of how well the liver is working. Uh, the signs that are most important for us are that your blood pressure stabilizes, that you're able to maintain your body temperature, that the patient gradually wakes up because the anesthetic drugs are being taken care of and washed out by the liver and that there is no bleeding because all the blood clotting factors are being produced by the liver. So this is, these are indications that the new liver is working well. Usually by the morning after surgery, patients come off the ventilator and are able to talk and they start eating uh, quite quickly thereafter. Uh, we monitor the patient for the first four or five days to look for these technical complications which is when they tend to occur and specifically there would be a daily ultrasound Doppler examination to make sure that all the blood vessels are working well. Most patients are discharged in two to three weeks time by which time they are walking around and are perfectly alright. The complications of rejection and infection, if they occur, they tend to occur during the second week, which is when we monitor for these type of complications. Uh, but when you, by the time you leave the hospital, you'll be able to walk out under your own steam. You don't, won't need to be in a wheelchair or on a stretcher or anything like that, and you'll be eating normal diet. You'll be on a lot of medication for which we, you need to do blood tests once or twice a week and these medications will need to be adjusted carefully particularly over the first few weeks after a transplant after that the number of medications and the frequency of testing comes down and usually by the time you're about three months out of a transplant you're on very little medication much less medication and the frequency of testing also becomes considerably less frequent